right, in today's video, I'm going to be doing an honest review of the t -Fel Prestige XL Air Fryer. Now, my husband bought this as a Christmas gift to me, 2021, and I was talking about getting an air fryer for a long time. He said it was out of the budget, out of our budget. But then he got to talking to some co-workers who raved about air fryers, so he decided to jump on this sale. Now, I will insert a clip of, we got this from Canadian Tire. I believe he paid a hundred and something dollars for it. Now, I'm going to be completely honest right away. Uh, there is a website or a YouTube channel that I watch called Simply Frugal. I also will include uh, the website right here. She does um, air fryer recommendations and recipes. Uh, there's a lot of available content for free from her. Uh, so, I mean, she uses a digital air fryer. And my husband and I have a deal that if I'm still using this consistently uh, come March, and if I want to use my own spending money, I will, um, he's allowing me <laughs> to get a digital air fryer. So I am holding out <laughs> for a digital one because I do feel like a digital air fryer. There are a lot of models. A lot of times they go on sale on Amazon that I believe have more features to them that would be more handy. Like this is a good starting model right here. It's 4.2 liter capacity. And I did have to buy uh, air fryer accessories from Amazon, which I will go into um, details about those as well. Now I'm not going to be cooking anything this is just going to be an honest review, just going over some of the features as well as what I feel the t -Fal Prestige 4.2 XL does lack, which I have noticed on um, pretty much from watching Simply Frugal uh, and how easily she's able to use her air fryer. Now this air fryer does its job. I mean, uh, it does... To me, it feels like it takes longer uh, than what a digital air fryer um, would do. I have been following recipes and I have noticed that uh, where she will, and I don't remember her name, I don't recall her name, but I feel bad that I don't recall. I think it's Kathy, I think, don't quote me on that. But when she has her recipes, she says that, okay, this is only take four minutes uh, but it ends up taking like seven minutes. So I do think that maybe the digital air fryer is a little bit more precise. Now, um, packing and unboxing was very easy. I did film it previously, but I'm not sure if I still have that unboxing video on my phone. If I do, I will add it to this video, um, but I don't think that I still have it. Uh, so this does feature... Um, uh, Celsius. Now, most recipes form, and it's a dial. And if you take a look, the dial is not very specific. Like it's not uh, with with digital, you can get your timing, your temperature uh, up to like the degree. Here, you're just guessing. Like there's no real uh, specifics. So if you have a recipe, let's say that says 170 Celsius. Um, which will, would translate to a certain degree of Fahrenheit, you're guessing. It's all guesswork here, right? Like, you, you don't really know. All you know is, okay, this is 200, this is 160, this is 120, um, and I guess the minimum, like, who knows what the minimum is because there's no... there's no indicators here as to what this is. It just starts at 8. Uh, degrees Celsius and then goes up to 200. So that's one note that I do have to say that um, I'm kind of disappointed in. Uh, when it comes to features, this is all you have. Just a timer. That's it. There's no stop button. There's no hold buttons. Um, there's no like uh, yeah, no, no stop to hold. So if you have something in this air fryer, and I'll pull this out, 
Uh, I hope I cleaned it. I did. <laughs> All right. So the nice thing about this is that it's 4.2 liters. So you can get, um, we'll say roughly, depending on the size of the chicken wings, 12 chicken wings, uh, three chicken breasts. Like keep in mind, this is the extra large. The 4.2 liters is the extra large. And you always want to make sure you have um, some space now. With the t fowl, this Prestige, it does have these little caps on the end. And there were a couple of videos I saw of an unboxing where there was one guy who actually removed the caps. Now the thing is, and I can verify, these don't melt. Like they're perfectly safe. I've kept them on uh, just so that I don't scrape the sides of the air fryer. Now, we've been using this air fryer for only, I'd say about three weeks, and I have been using it consistently. Uh, so I know that it works. Um, the non-stick surface does work very well. Uh, I don't recommend putting this in the dishwasher at all, not even these things. This grill should be washed by hand. All of these accessories, which I will go over in a moment, should all be washed by hand. I am gonna let you know which ones I've actually used um, and which ones are actually helpful to me, might not be helpful to you. Um, and this was separately. This accessory kit cost $50 on Amazon and it came with, um, with, with these nine items I think there is here, but I'll get into that in a moment. Um, but as far as the actual, um, the nonstick works very well. Just make sure you're washing it by hand and clean it every time and it'll be no problem for you. I have had like sticky marshmallow s'mores desserts that I've made in the air fryer uh, that I did use. I just cut a piece of parchment paper, poked some holes in it and put it down. They do sell um, specifically created uh, parchment paper that has holes already in it. Uh, I don't think it's a necess necessary. Um, it's, it helps with the cleanup. Uh, but this is non-stick, so cleanup is rather easy. Now, already, I just want to point out, again, I've only been using this for three weeks. I do have little rust stains. I don't know if that's rust or uh, whatever, um, but if you can see that around the rim, it is stained. But other than that, um, you can't really... Uh, <laughs> so the going back to the accessories, the accessories do... Uh, help give a little bit more space but they don't really help in um, keeping that airflow so that everything cooks. Uh, we'll get into that in a moment when I'll explain that. So this one um, I obviously need to clean because I got crumbs in there so I do apologize. I do keep my air fryer on a wooden um, wooden cutting board. I do recommend that. Uh, I have no idea what material the counters are uh, I haven't had any problem, obviously, because I have the wood cutting board in between. And as you can see, I do have to plug this into the oven because that outlet, for whatever reason, does not work. So I, I will turn it on just to show you um, how easy it is to turn on. I also have, pardon the disorganization of the spice rack. I have also this um, 18 air fryer tips and cooking temperature guide, but also my husband made me this temperature conversion chart. And I do find myself referring to this a lot, again, because a lot of recipes are in Fahrenheit. And this lovely machine is only in Celsius. Again, one of the downfalls is that um, even though it's in Celsius, it, it, they're, they're, you're, you're playing a guessing game with your temperature. So this one I do keep on my cupboards for a reference, right? And I don't even know if those numbers are 100% accurate. Uh, again, because I'm having to play a guessing game on the actual timer that's here. All right, <laughs> so that takes care of that. Okay, so I don't have anything in here, but I just wanted to show you how, how you turn this off or how you pause it. Digital air fryers, I've noticed, also have a preheat option. This one doesn't. If you want to preheat it, <laughs> 
I, 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 I did this once, okay? I wanted to preheat, um, <laughs> I wanted to preheat an oven, right? I wanted to preheat it. I think I was baking something. And funny story, uh, I actually had parchment paper in here. Big mistake. The um, parchment, I, <laughs> it was like 30 seconds after I was starting my preheat on the air fryer that I smelled burning. And sure enough, the parchment paper ended up flying up to the fan and it burnt. I wish I would have caught that on video, but I didn't. So if you're going to use parchment paper in here, make sure you're weighing it down first. But the idea with this is, I'm just going to plug it in. So you can keep it plugged in. Right, if you um, if you like pull it out, let's say, pull it out, turn the timer, you set your timer. Right, nothing happens until when you push it in, then the heat will turn on and it'll start going. Right, and then to stop it, there you go. So that's kind of that's your hold button. <laughs> that's your your pull it out, and um, in order to stop the timer. There's no button. You can't just pause the timer. You cannot stop the timer. That's another reason why I do want to upgrade this air fryer in March when my three months is up and I've proven to my husband I'll actually use the air fryer. Um, you have to physically turn it off. Uh, there are some uh, review videos on YouTube regarding the TFAL that maybe they've also let you guys know that just to be cautious I mean, this does its job, but it was expensive because the two days after my husband paid a hundred and I don't know thirty dollars. Uh, don't quote me. You might you'll you'll see the picture at the beginning. Uh, the Canadian Tire. Uh, not two days afterwards, they had an Amazon sale where there was a digital air fryer, and I actually requested on sale for eighty. So like fifty dollars cheaper than this one. We hadn't un completely unboxed it yet, or I, I unboxed it, but I hadn't used it yet. And I was like, can you take this back and can I get that digital one? He was like, no, I ain't going back. Just try it. Uh, so, yeah, we came to the uh, agreement that um, I think a digital one is a much more. Do I regret buying this? Um, I didn't buy it. I, 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 yeah. My personal opinion, there are better models out there for cheaper if you're going to get this, go with the digital. Just, yeah. Maybe this will work for you. Um, if we do get a digital air fryer, I do plan on giving this one to my mother-in-law. So if my mother-in-law is watching this video, you can have this in four months. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. All right, so now um, I've pointed out what are the cons. And unfortunately for me, there are more cons than pros with this. Uh, pros being that it does its job. And uh, that's that's it. There's just too, there's just too many more features. If I didn't know about those extra features that were av available on the digital uh, air fryers, I probably would be fine with this one. But because I know that there are so many better features, I'm kind of yeah disappointed in this model. It's a great size. Uh, okay, now we're going to move on to the accessories. So I'm going to pull this out. All right, so this I ordered separately from Amazon. Uh, the reason why I ordered this specific one was because it had good reviews. I do read the reviews a lot. We're just going to say a quick hello to uh, <laughs> two cats. That's Iggy and that is Rowan. They're both hiding there. All right, back to this. Okay, so this little accessory... You know, it comes with, um, this one I thought was really nice. So there are a lot of, an air fryer you can think of as a mini conventional oven, to be honest with you. And anything that is oven safe will be air fryer safe. Uh, so silicone, um, anything made for the oven. This is, even though it doesn't say oven safe directly on it, uh, it, it, it's been fine, like perfectly fine in the air fryer. So this is like just a regular cake pan. I did make a s'more dip in here. Uh, marshmallows and chocolate chips fit perfectly, uh, worked perfectly. I did have to put it on for longer than the, the video that I watched just because I think the timing temperature, it, it's hard to gauge. Again, TFAL, you're playing a guessing game. So that one was a good one. 
this one is, we've been using it for, you can, it's supposed to be for toast, but you can also use it for hash browns. My husband does like using it for hash browns. This little thing actually is going to come in handy. I've used it a couple times. This is just two, and of course you can do this easier, but this one picks it up. It just saves you, saves you your hands, saves you from having to get in there with another uh, thing, and this one pretty much fits on everything. I haven't had a chance to use this yet. You can use, it's silicone, so I, I can't attest to it, but I'm assuming that this will, this is non-stick. You can make little egg bites, little muffins, little cupcakes, cheesecakes in here. I do want to try cheesecakes in there, so that's good. Uh, this is supposed to be, I haven't used this yet, just a silicone mat. You got a little useless, in my opinion, 8-inch, uh, 9-inch uh, pizza pan. I haven't tried using it, but let's, let's be real, that's an individual pizza pan. You've got a rack. Now this rack actually is pretty useless. Um, there's not enough height on it to uh, really make use out of this. You have it here, but like just look, it's, there is, you can't really fit anything under here, so that's kind of useless. And anything on top of here is going to cook faster and burn faster than what's ever underneath. So this one, honestly, is kind of a useless product. This one, I haven't actually used, used these little sticks yet for um, skewers. But this one I have used, where I've had like fries underneath and a couple of fish sticks. But again, you can't really, with this size, and again... The fish dick sticks, sorry, <laughs> sticks, sticks. <laughs> Actually, um, the 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 way the way I did was I did just fish sticks, and I had fish sticks on the bottom, fish sticks on the top. But I would pause, pull it out, and then switch so that they would be evenly cooked. All right. So, in my opinion, um, if you do get the an air fryer you're in the market for one I wouldn't recommend this one go for a digital one like I said you can actually uh, like I did maybe find it cheaper on Amazon um, an accessory kit is actually very useful very useful and they usually come as a complete kit where it's cheaper and more affordable I guess you could say in the long run uh, to just get a complete kit instead of one single item. So this is going to wrap up my review of the Tefal Air Fryer XL. If it's your first air fryer and you get it at a really good price and you don't care about extra features or you just live alone, go for it. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm holding out for a digital one in a couple months. All right, I'll have a good day, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye.